we're back. And it's time for a honey brown. Dundee Honey Brown says, What's supposed to go in beer? German purity laws say that you're only allowed four ingredients. But this is America, the land of individualism, civil disobedience, and footballs that don't roll like the rest of the world wants them to. So we decided that for Dundee Honey Brown, we'd add a fifth, a touch of pure honey. Granted, that's a recipe that's a little different. But we figure you can be like everyone else, or you can be yourself and drink something unique. Go ahead, be different. I gotta say, guys, this beer does not smell too much like honey. It smells vaguely malty, slightly sweet. As I exhale it through my nose, that's when I get the honey, and it is nice, but it's not much. Uh, overall, this beer is just kind of meh. Literally, M-E-H, meh. Uh, so, I gotta give it a thumbs down. Alright, I'm gonna give it, um, <clears throat> to coin the phrase that you, uh, or to use the phrase you coined earlier, a half cocked thumbs up. Because okay. I gave the previous beer a thumbs up, and I feel like this is very similar to the wheat uh, ale that we tried, right? right. Uh, it does, it's very, this is similar to, to that, it's kind of watered down. I don't taste the honey in it as well, but although it does have a semi sweet taste to it, it is very easy to drink. It would be a nice, easy summer beer, especially for someone that's not into anything that's too malty, too hoppy, too. You know, something that just is smooth and goes down easy and doesn't really care about flavor or, you know, any of the other higher beer snobbish qualities. So, um, this is a good layman's beer. So, I'll give it a half cocked thumbs up for everyone else out there. It's one of those more high character lagers where there's actually something to taste. I think it's drinkable, but I kind of agree with what both of you said. It's like there isn't a whole lot of honey here. But it gets a little bit sweet, and I mean, it's not like the greatest beer in the world, but it's it's drinkable. I I recommend it. So I'd be interested to try an entire bottle of it. So thumbs up. The Dundee Pale Ale, enjoyably hoppy. I'm loving on the label already. What is the key to happiness? Money. There are the tax issues. Power. The demands on your time. Fame. Photographers where when you're in your skivvies. Sex? Well, there are some things you just can't argue about. But for a true hop lover, happiness is a perfectly balanced pale ale. Dundee Pale Ale is hop perfection. It won't give you money, power, or fame, but who needs such things when you have one damn good bottle of brew that always leads to sex? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always, that last uh... part. It does not say that. <laughs> <laughs> We're back with the pale ale. We all tried the pale ale. Um, it's enjoyably hoppy. Right, I mean, it says don't worry, be hoppy. It's hoppy. It is hoppy. There's no doubt about that. And it's enjoyably hoppy for everyone. Not a single layman out there. I'm rambling now. Yeah. Because I've had too much. But it's, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> I'm kind of mixed on this one. I mean, for a pale ale, it does what it's supposed to do. There is a no noticeable hop bitterness to it. And like, there's a caramel sweetness, but... You know, the flavor scheme overall isn't really, like, knocking my socks off, but it's not bad, so I guess I'll give it a half-cock thumb up, as you both said. Nice. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to break with, uh, you two. You're going to give it the thumbs down. No, thumbs up. I'm going to go thumbs up with this beer because it's a pale. But, you know, it's an American pale that isn't too hop-focused. It's a tad malty. And for me, that's good. You talk about beer for everyone. And I'm everyone. I don't like beer that is too hoppy. Most IPAs and a lot of American pales to me are too hoppy. They're too grapefruity or piney. And this is just a nice balance of uh, a higher-than-average amount of hops without going overboard, and to me this is very pleasing. So, thumbs up. I are back with the Dundee IPA India Pale Ale, which is one of my, well, is my favorite style of beer. Uh, it says, sometimes it's okay to be bitter. When they stick you on a ship and send you to India without any good ale from home, it's okay to be bitter. 
The result was India Pale Ale, the high point in bitterness history. When your team goes 0-16, when you don't make it past the lady T, or when you just want an ale with as much oomph as a steak, or a burrito, or a Vegas bachelorette party, be bitter, people will understand. 6.3% ABV. I'm hoping that this is going to be easy to open. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we finished up with the Dundee IPA. Um, as a big IPA fan, I have to say I'm not really a fan of this. It's got the bitterness and dryness that you look for in IPA, but the actual taste isn't really there. I mean, it's bitter enough and all and strong enough, but it's just not a whole lot to appreciate about it. So, kind of on the fence about this one. I guess I'm going to go thumbs sideways. What do you think, Henry? Chad, I agree with you. In fact, 100%. Uh, in terms of an IPA, they pick up on sort of the basic... Uh, really base notes. Um, you know, it's bitter, it's hoppy, but other than that, what is there to it? You know, I mean, at least the American Pale that we just had had some flavor, it had some malty goodness, but this is just, it's the skeleton uh, of what an IPA should be. And as such, maybe, like you said, it's the, you know, the beginner beer, the beer for everybody. The introduction to the style, and as such, it's not even that good. <clears throat> Sideways. Hmm. Okay, I agree. The India India Pale Ale has uh, Indian <laughs> or <laughs> India. <laughs> it uh, definitely has it, the skeletons of a pale ale. What a pale ale should be. I like it. Hmm. I actually like it. Um, I would have one of these though. I could not have multiple multiple bottles of this or glasses. I give it a thumbs up hmm. because now I'm taking the mindset of the beer for everybody. Okay. All right. Well, we'll come back with our final thoughts on the mix pack overall. Hmm. All right. We're back. We just finished up with the Dundee craft pack. Overall. I thought it was decent for what it is. It's a it's a supermarket quasi craft beer mix pack. Um, it's not exactly Russian River or Dogfish Head quality, but it's better than Budweiser and Miller. So overall, I would give it a thumbs up. And I also want to point out that I got this entire box for five bucks at Brew Crew. So Brew Crew for the win. What do you think, Stacy? I feel that taking the blue collar approach, this whole pack is, I give it a thumbs up. It's a very good introductory craft pack. Okay. Uh, you know, like you were saying, Chad, this is no Goose Island. It's no Keegan Ales. It's... Right. Okay. You know, this is sort of a mediocre selection. It gives you the bare bones on a couple different styles, but it lacks the finer points that make them worth drinking. And even if you've never had a style of beer before, and you're curious, why would you want to try something that's just the bare minimum, a sort of C student? You want to try something that has those finer notes, that gives you, um, you know, the best you've ever had, or at least good. And this stuff was mostly okay. So I've got to give this whole pack a thumb sideways. Yeah. I can kind of see where you're coming from, yeah. but I think it's a good gateway from your Bud Miller and Coors to Dundee to Sam Adams to Dogfish Head. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and that's in, in keeping in context is what I give it a thumbs up as. Overall, I think most of these beers are probably five, six range, but, exactly. you know, exactly. um, I guess about does it for this episode. Thanks to Henry and Stacy for coming out. Thanks for having me. Yep. Um, hopefully this won't be Stacy's last appearance here. Since she lives on the other side of that wall, I can just come grab her whenever I want. <laughs> Use the term grab lightly. <laughs> yes, indeed. Alright. And me, I'll drive up when I can. So folks, don't forget to have an amount of it. Yep, and let's cheers up our water here. Yeah. Yes, for safety. <laughs> <laughs>